Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to fixalab.net. This is Jordan Condell, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial based on a free script that uh, a buddy of mine pointed out to me. Uh, Rick showed me this script, so thanks for pointing this out to me, Rick. Uh, let's go ahead and show you what this guy is all about. So let's go ahead and say that we're using a cloner object and let me pull this up a little bit. Let's change this to grid array. So you know the drill. Whenever we use the cloner, we have to kind of define the spacing in between all of this because these are kind of butting up to each other right now. Uh, they're overlapping. So what we need to do is kind of grab these yellow things and stretch them out. And then we got to go to this side, stretch these guys out, go over to here and stretch this one out. And uh, there we go. Now we have everything kind of how we want it spaced, right? Well, let's say that this is perfect, but we want to try maybe using four cubes or we want to make a video board with five or six, you know, who knows, right? We got to kind of experiment before we can decide what, how many we want. Well, every time we change it, we got to go in here and move the handles to kind of see exactly how big that is uh, based on the spacing that we have. So every time we want to modify it, we got to go in here and change it. It's just kind of ridiculous, right? And uh, if you're doing this a lot, it can be a huge pain in the butt. So. This is where the free script comes in, and this free script is called Adaptive Cloner for Cinema, and this is by Cyborg Dino. So thank you very much, Mr. Cyborg. You can go ahead and download the zip, but I would recommend not doing that, actually. Let me go ahead and show you uh, what you're going to get. If you download the zip, it'll be this folder. And in this folder, we're going to have a Cinema 4D uh, project file, which you're going to have to open up. So if we look at this, we have all of our user data for the script on the cloner object, which is great, except for the fact that every time we want to use this script, we got to go back and find this Cinema 4D project file, open it up, and then get this uh, Cinema 4D cloner object that has the user data attached to it. Uh, that's too much work for me. So thankfully, um, he has a little edit update on the bottom here, and it says that uh, somebody actually made an update on here and took the user data off of the cloner and put it on the tag, which is great. And then you can download that guy right here. So go ahead and download that one instead. And that will also be a Cinema 4D uh, project file, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a pretty sweet workaround to uh, save your preset of your tag, right? So all of the data is on this tag. So all we have to do is right click on the tag and go to save tag preset. Then we can go ahead and save it, uh, Adaptive Cloner Script. I already saved it, but go ahead and hit OK. And then we can go back to our previous cube setup. And all we have to do is right click on here, and then we can go to Load Tag Preset, User Tags, and then we've got all of our presets that we've saved here. So we can go ahead and click on this guy, and that'll bring in our tag which is perfect. So by default, um, it kind of resets everything to the default. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, go back in here and modify it again. Now you'll notice that if we click and drag on these uh, yellow handles, we can't do that anymore. We have to go into the tag and we have to change the spacing of the object in here. So let's go ahead and go to 206 by 206. And I forget what the other one was. We'll just eyeball it here. All right, perfect. So now we've got all of our size perfectly set up. Now let's go to our cloner and let's change the size. And now you can see the magic happening, right? So uh, now we can go ahead and experiment with as many cloners as we want and it's gonna adaptively uh, kind of change the spacing so that it stays exactly where we want it, which is absolutely awesome. I'm very excited about this script. I'm glad that it's free and that uh, it's going to save me a bunch of time. So I hope that um, kind of helps you out. I hope you grab that guy. Definitely thank Mr. Cyborg Dino for this pretty dang sweet script. And uh, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for checking out the site, everybody. And we will talk again next time. Bye.